Hello everyone, this is Christian from Global Reach, and today we're talking about how to delete a Google Tag Manager container. So maybe you are trying to get rid of a container or you accidentally created one or you realize that you don't need uh, so many containers. Either way, I'm, I'm gonna show you how to delete your container here real quick. So one thing to know is that on Google Tag Manager, it functions in an account and container setup. So you have an account and in your account you have containers and you've got multiple containers. So just make sure that when you're deleting a uh, container, make sure that you are deleting the container and not the account. Because if you delete an account, you're deleting multiple containers. So I'm gonna make sure that um, we're doing the right things here. So what you wanna do is you're gonna open the container that you wanna delete, which is, in this case, we're gonna delete this container over here. All you wanna do is go up to the admin section and once you're in the admin section, you will have two parts here. You'll have the account part and the container part. Don't touch the account part. What you wanna do is go to container settings and you'll see your, your container name and your target platform. So if it's a web um, platform or an app platform, you'll see that here. What you wanna do is go up to the three dots down here, click the drop down, and click on delete. You wanna delete the container globreach.com uh, or whatever your container is named. Um, so I'm going to click delete, but one thing to know is that this container will be moved to, to the trash can and it will stay in the trash can for 30 days. So if you delete a container, you, it will be chilling in your trash can for 30 days and you'll have the chance to restore it and bring it back uh, if you so please. So I'm going to click delete. And now that's deleted, I'm going to scroll all the way down here and I have a trash can and this trash can has global reach in it. So I'm going to uh, just click on this and I have the option to restore if I want to. But I'm not gonna restore it, I'm just gonna keep it in there. But generally, that is how you delete a Google Tag Manager container. Thanks a ton for watching and feel free to check out any other tutorials on our page.